Hello guys, welcome again and uh, in the last video we have created this DB operation class and we have also created the method that will create a new user inside our database. So to call this method we again need one more script and this time we will create the script inside this v1 folder. This is the actually this v1 folder will contain the web services and the web services that will be called from Android. So let's create a new file here and I will name this file register user.php. So as we are going to store the data to the database. So for storing the data we use a uh, HTTP POST method. So first we will check if there is a POST method or not. So dollar underscore server. This is again a predefined variable. I mean predefined array. And it also contained a predefined key which is request underscore method. And this will be equal to POST if there is a POST request. So what if there is not a post request we will display some error message so for the error message let's define an array here and we will put error equals to true this is an associative array and we are creating a key named error here and we are giving the value to true that means there is an error and we can also put a message to invalid request and finally we can display the response in JSON format we need some data interchange format to communicate from another device with this web services and json is the most popular format used these days and it is super easy and lightweight so to display this array in json format just write echo and then call the method json encode and pass the array it will automatically encode this array in json format and will display it to inside the browser but what if there is a post method again we need to check that the user has given all the values required so to create a user we need username password and email so we can check if is set dollar underscore post username then and is set dollar underscore post we need email and is set dollar underscore post and we need password if all these three keys are set then that means user has provided all the required values and we can operate the data further but if the control come inside this else that means user has not has not provided all the required values in this case we will again display an error response error equals to again true and this time the message would be required fields are missing now again if the if we received all the required values we will insert it to the database so for the database we need this script here so we will import it require once and the script is inside this folder so first we will move upside one step means we will we are coming outside this folder v1 and we are now at android and from android we will go to includes 
and then we will import the db operations.php now here we will create a db operation object db equals to new db operations and with this object we will call the method create user db create user this is the method we calling we need to pass username password and email so let's pass dollar underscore post username dollar underscore post password and dollar underscore post email so we have passes passed all the values but this method will return either true or false so again we will put it inside an if so write if and if it is true that means user is created then we will put error as false and we will put message as user registered successfully but if there is some error we will again put response error as true and message would be some error occurred please try again or something like this so we have the first service ready register user.php now we need to test this script whether it is working fine or not for testing you can use any rest client i have postman you can install it from chrome store and we will put the address of this script here so it is localhost slash our project directory which was android then v1 and then register user.php and method is post let's try get method and send we are getting some error on line number 10 let's check what is it oops i forget to close the braces and again here this is closed so let's test it again again there is an error on line number 12 so the braces is closed here and this is not needed and this brace is also not needed so now test again and we are getting the message error true and it is an invalid request let's try post and again the error is true because the required fields are missing so we will add the required fields the required fields are username the text we are writing here should match this this username email and password so we will write username email and password let's put username pro bilal khan email bilal khan at the gmail.com and password 1234 now let's send it again again there is an error and i don't know what this is error class db operations not found in one register user.php line number 16 uh, the class name is db operation and i have written operations here oops silly error so make it operations again try yes we got the message error is false and the message is user registered successfully now let's check the database and yes we have another value let's delete this one so we have the username and the password in encrypted format and the email so the script is working absolutely fine 
uh, in the next video we will do the same operation from the android application as we are sure that script is working correctly there was some error but i sorted that out and the script is working fine so in the next video we will insert the values from the android application so see you in the next video